dog in my bed this is why i ain't got no man because i think i got too many dogs what well, welcome everybody to my channel as y'all see by the title this is a get ready with me i am going to brunch with a good friend of mine and i started a new sisters of dw group so today gives me the opportunity to meet the first well, not the first, but the third sister from my group. Super excited as she is well known um, about the Texas area. It's our first time going to this brunch spot, um, as you're going to see later in this video. Um, yeah. So you see this? No, look it. If you ain't got a weighted blanket, baby, you need one. That blanket was heavy 25 pounder now the cold seasons is coming and baby if you ain't got a weighted blanket what are you doing now i promised my daughter that i would make up my bed um when i get out of it because my biggest problem i don't know if you guys are like me when i get up every morning my day be so crazy that I get up, jump out of bed, put on my clothes, and guess what? Forget to make my bed. So, shout out to my girl, Pretty in Pink, for buying these amazing um, comforter set with the matching sheets. I'm going to try my best to leave the um, it in the comments if you guys are interested in them. Um... The gray blanket that you see right here, I actually got it from, um, I think it was TJ Maxx. I got the blanket on sale. It was originally $40, and I got it for $26. And when I tell you this blanket is soft, baby, it is soft. Um, and then one thing I love about the comforter set with the matching sheets, it feels like I'm at the hotel. Like, isn't that cute? Get my big head up. All right, so let's go to this closet. Now, don't judge me. Yeah, now, mind you, we just moved here four months ago. Well, you know when you first move into a place, everything is a project. Well, baby, you are looking at a project. This is not done. I got a lot of clothes. The funny thing about it is people be like, best friend. You need to get rid of some clothes. But I did. Before I moved here, I actually went through my closet and got rid of a lot of stuff. This is all the stuff that made it. But the problem is, because I ain't got no man, and I barely hung out with my friends, I barely went anywhere. Now that I be outside, right, right there. now I can go ahead and um, wear some of these clothes. Now for the brunch, the theme, because we love a good theme, it is red, so I had this red shirt. When I tell y'all this was the only red shirt that I had, only red shirt. But before we put the clothes on, babies, we got to brush these teeth, you know. Brush, 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 brush. We got to brush, brush the teeth. Brush, 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 brush. I got to brush, brush my teeth. Now... One of, the, one of my favorite parts of my house, I swear for God, is my bathroom. Now, it's not really put together right now. Like I said, every part of my house is a project. But I absolutely love, with a capital L, V, E, my bathroom. It is everything that I, a girl could ask for. Um, it will be in another video that I will give you guys a complete um, tour um, of, of the finished product of my house, but ain't no way I'm going to go ahead and get this done in four months. So just bear with me and don't judge me. Do not uh, judge me. Now, I told you a girl love pink. Y'all see the pink robe? Looking good, though. Why do I not have no 
Seriously? That's all the that's all the mouth wash I had. Man. Big attitude. But I'm gonna squish, squish, squish as much as I can. And um but yeah, so one of my favorite parts about my house is my bathroom. I love it. Big bathtub, double sink, big mirror. Baby, I'm in a game. And before I moved here, I had a vision of exactly what I wanted. And this is what I wanted. So thank you, God, for that. Now, after every mouth wash, you got to do a little rinse, rinse. So that's what I did. Like I said, I meet since you I've there. been in go. Dallas, I've been learning to, like, go out, you know, do something with myself. When I was in Cali, I found myself being so lazy where I honestly would do my hair, but, like, I really didn't care about it too much. Or I would get dressed, but I didn't really care about what I really wore. So I'm really honestly learning to do better with that. Now, don't judge my hair. It's about that time to take this bad boy out. And because of that, I was like, the only thing I can see with my hair is to go ahead and um, put some curls in it. I should have flat ironed it, but I didn't. Whatever. So I'm applying my OG um, lotion. Now, y'all may be like, best friend, why are you putting your lotion on before you put your clothes on? Mind your business. I took a shower last night. And literally, all I did was just jump out of bed and just reapply some. Now, I don't know why I did this. I don't know why I sprayed stuff on me. But, woo, it smelled good. So, I'm going to go ahead and comb my hair out, get it together. And, um, yeah, get it, get it, get it, get it. But um, we're going to go ahead. Don't judge my mirror. Judge your mama. Um, we're going to go ahead. My girl Sway told me a new method of putting my lashes on. So I decided to go ahead and see if I can accomplish that today. Now, she said to put the glue on the top of your little lash line and then let it dry and then put the lashes on. Now, I ain't never did it like this. So, we're going to go ahead and do it on both both eyeballs, both eyeball lids, and see if I like it. Now that while that dry, I'm going to go ahead and um, go ahead and put some foundation on my face. I ran out of primer. Like I said, me just moving here, I honestly need to revamp on a lot of my makeup. And also, too, I don't have my vanity anymore, which I need to buy me a new vanity set, which I am going to. So just bear with me. We are legit working with what we are, what we got. You know what I'm saying? So, then as you can see, I ran out of foundation. Like, really? I'm trying to um, dress and impress so, you know, she could be like, ooh, that girl pretty that I met. And my foundation went to run out. So, I'm going to go ahead and do what any girl would do in a rut. We're going to go ahead and just tap, tap. And tap, 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 and tap, tap. Apply, apply, apply. As y'all can see, this is, I think this is Maybelline True Coverage. And when I tell you it's a perfect match for my face, look it. We gonna have a good day. And we is. Pat the forehead. Pat the forehead. Now it's time to re. Now it's, it's time to apply the um these lashes. Now I'm gonna do everything that Sway taught me how to do. Gotta clean the little lash line. We're gonna go ahead. 
I'm not an OG lasher like y'all. If y'all got any tips and tricks, please help me. But it kind of it kind of worked out. It went on there perfectly fine. The funny thing about it is one eye. If you guys are like me, whenever I apply my lashes, one eye be amazing. The second eye be trash. And that's actually what happened here. This eye was 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 pretty. You see it? We was lashing. But that second eye, baby, it was giving me trouble. So I had to take it off at least two or three times and put this bad boy on. But at the end of the day, it, it did what it was supposed to do. Maybe not perfect, but, you know, I, I'm, I'm going to keep working on it. Once again, if y'all got any tricks and tips in the comments, please help your girl out because I need it. All right, after we done struggled with this lash, like I said, two or three times, we finally got it together. Now it is time for me to go ahead and apply some concealer. Yeah, as y'all know, I have freckles. And it's not that I really want to cover them up. It just in the winter time, my freckles actually pop out a lot more because there's no sun. So anyways, I just wanted to just give me a little pop pops. Just little pop pots. Quick story. When I was younger, when I was about 11, 12 years old is when I actually started realizing I had freckles. And I didn't really like my freckles because a lot of people around me never had them. But baby, now that I'm older, I learned to embrace my... Look at me over here messing with this lash. I learned to embrace my freckles and I realized a lot of people around me, they like it. So, but it, I, you know what? It's not that I like them because everybody else like them. I truly like them because it makes me different and unique than everybody else. And um, I promise in the next video, that mirror will be clean. Because if it's irritating me watching this, I know it's irritating y'all. But we're going to go ahead and um, put some um, eyeliner. And we're going to go ahead and do my eyebrows. I've been really into making my eyelash, my eyebrows darker than I normally do. And I ain't going to lie, I like it so much better. Because I feel like people notice it more. But I'm really looking into getting like that dip brow stuff. Look it. They, look it. I look good. And then I normally go in with my little spoolie and just clean it up. That's it. Now, the funny thing about it is since COVID, I haven't really been doing my makeup like that. And I've been getting, being a lot more lazier in doing it. And in the next season of my life, I'm really going to step into my soft girl era and really start embracing, like, you know, buying my makeup again and, you know, wearing the cute little pajamas and little stuff like that. And so... It's something I want to do because I was doing it before COVID. I was doing it when I had a man. And now that I'm single, I feel like that's something I should continue to do. Ladies and men, y'all, come on now. Don't stop doing all the things that make you feel pretty and the things that make you feel, you know, loved and needed. And, you know, just because you ain't got nobody. You feel me? Now, some of y'all may be like, best friend, why are you putting on your eyeshadow like that? Because I was being lazy and I was running out of time. Boom. So let's go ahead and put these clothes on. But before we do that, definitely got to open up the window. This is a, my, like my second part of my room. My favorite part besides the um, walk-in closet is this big, pretty window. Like it lets in all the sun. All right, so let me shut up for a minute and get dressed because I'm going to be late. Now that I got my outfit on, let me go ahead and do this hair. When I tell you I had maybe 20 minutes to walk out this door, 
So when I tell you these curls are gonna curl as much as possible, watch me work. Like you're always in the camera. Move, lady. They used to say the dogs. Once you get up, do a little pose and I'm going to stop it. Okay, I guess I'm going to stop it now. One, two, three. Okay, I'm going to... One, two, three, I'm stop it. You think I should do this? The jacket? Um, Since I'm just doing this. Y'all cannot come. Y'all cannot come. All right. Okay. Gotta remind Move, Miss Lady. Lady, move. Bye, baby. Just know that it get better time. Best kept secret.
They say time is she can't see her life with Thank you for watching my video. Look at my girl, Lili. Lili. I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. Thank y'all for watching this video. Thank y'all for supporting me. And make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. Oh, God damn, I ain't no worse.